Before we start, I want to disclose that all voices you hear during this presentation are synthesized. All voices were produced using the Azure Text-to-Speech service, which uses AI to simulate human voices. All content in the presentation was made by Samir Doshi, a cloud solutions architect at Microsoft, and can be found on his GitHub under the Azure TDS repository. Okay, Aria, take it away. When I was five, my friends and I had lots of fun during computer time at school. We made the computer say silly things in a computerized voice using its text-to-speech program. Silly things like, the cat ate the house, the cat ate the house, trust me, for a five-year-old, that is hilarious. Since then the quality and abilities of speech-to-text have really improved. With Azure Text-to-Speech Service, TTS for short, we've made it easy to add speech to complex healthcare scenarios. After I go over technical capabilities of the TTS service, Gary will show you an example of TTS in healthcare, and Jenny will share some example TTS scenarios for healthcare and life sciences companies. The Azure Text-to-Speech service is one of Azure's cognitive services. Cognitive services let people and organizations easily use AI to enhance human abilities. Azure also offers human parity computer vision, speech, face, and sentiment recognition, along with other AI services. But today let's focus on the text-to-speech TTS service. It converts written text to high-quality voices synthesized via neural networks. TTS has over 200 voices in 50 languages. Each voice's pitch and speed can be adjusted or different styles can be used. For example, I am an empathetic voice. I am a newscaster voice. I am a chat voice. I am a cheerful voice. I am a casual newscaster voice. I am a customer service voice. You can even train a custom voice. That's right. You can make your voice into a TTS voice. Microsoft believes in responsible AI, so in order to create a custom voice you'll need to fill out a form that ensures you own the rights to the voice and that your use of the custom voice complies with Microsoft's guidelines on the responsible use of AI. But after that, you can quickly train a neural network to talk like you by supplying it with recordings and transcripts of you talking. Custom voices are a great way to ensure the accents and speech patterns that make you or your brand's voice are replicated by the AI. If you want to hear a live example of this, just search for Microsoft's partnership with BBC Radio. Azure TTS is just as easy to use as other Azure cognitive services. To use, simply make direct REST calls to the service or use an SDK in C Sharp, Objective-C, Java, JavaScript, or Python. Pass in the input text and the output is a compressed audio file. But enough abstract technical talk. Let's turn it over to my counterpart Gary to talk through a real-life healthcare use of TTS. Thanks, Jenny. Let's make COVID-19 information on Twitter more accessible. Dr. Ashish Jha is the Dean of Brown University School of Public Health. He often posts messages that are too long to fit into a single tweet, so Twitter breaks these messages into threads. The problem is that OS-level TTS can't reconstitute these threads, so instead of a smooth message. Here's what a three-part tweet sounds like. I've trimmed Dr. Jaw's message for this example. Ashish K. Jaw MD MPH the rising proportion of Ashish K. Jaw MD MPH replying to Ashish K. Jaw MD MPH, two-thirds and the effects of Ashish K. Jaw MD MPH replying to Ashish K. Jaw MD MPH, three-thirds leads us to Yikes. That's hard to understand. Using a bit of text transformation and TTS we can instead make it sound like Ashish K. Ja MD MPH, the rising proportion of and the effects of leads us to That's much better. Let's see how it works. Let's hop to the Azure portal. I have all the code running as a logic app and you can find the code exported to Samir Doshi's GitHub under the Azure TTS repo. This logic app does the following. It ingests tweets from Dr. Ja. It transforms thread text by ripping out redundant info. It runs the transformed text through TTS. It uploads the speech to Blob. Finally, it replies to the original tweet with a link to the TTS audio. Follow text to speech on Twitter to see this logic app in action. Let's take a look at the TTS step. You can see that it's a simple rest call. The XML is written in the speech synthesis markup language format. And this example is just about as complex as it gets. If you look in Samir's GitHub, you can see the SSML for this entire presentation. 
Let me turn it over to Jenny to talk through what healthcare life sciences companies could do with this easy-to-use, awesome tech. Thanks, Gary. Gary didn't mention that it took him less than 24 hours to go from no knowledge to the end-to-end -end app. I bet most engineers would have similar, or faster, time to market. But what could a healthcare or life sciences company do with this tech? Here are four quick examples. You could just use the example I made above summarizing tweets from your company's account. Or, does your company send long emails or newsletters? Perhaps you send a bi-weekly COVID-19 update email. Well, why not publish that as a private podcast? Then people will have one less email to read, and people could listen to it on their commute, or in true pandemic fashion, on their exercise bike. Keep people in your company up to date on lengthy topics easily. Work for a hospital and want to keep staff up to date about the latest policies. Publishing a private three-minute podcast every week would be an efficient, easy way to reach everyone. Or maybe you run a lab and want to let all lab users know about the new scheduling system. Instead of an easily ignored email, quickly publish audio that explains the process. A setup that takes in an email and publishes to a podcast library would probably take less than 24 hours to be fully implemented. Our third example takes the first one a bit further. Your company could have many people publish content as one person. In this scenario, let's say you're a company that makes vaccines. How powerful would it be to have a weekly web series where someone from research explains how your latest vaccine works? And then, next week someone from compliance, in the same voice, explains the lengthy process to certify a vaccine as safe and effective. Followed the next week, again, in the same voice, someone from distribution explains the supply chain for vaccines. All three people would submit written content that is then synthesized and presented as the one voice for your company. No more having to green room, interview, review, and edit. Instead content review is done up front, in writing, and only reviewed content is presented. Changing content is as simple as cutting the old content and pasting the new content. With custom voice you could even use your company's branded voice speaking with the authority of your SMEs. In our fourth example there's lots of text in the world, but we don't need all of it at all times. Think about a patient chart it has name, birth date, and full medical history. But the doctor moving from one room to another may only need to hear the latest info about the patient she's about to see. An app that could TDS the latest info on a patient would allow our doctor to get a summary while walking. Think about it, you have the power to make a voice say whatever you want. Words matter, and when you can edit what you say just like you edit a document, the sky is the limit. Hi there, one last thing. While working on this I realized I could make a presentation where I never left something out, misspoke, or said something out of order. And while that's pretty empowering I also realized I was working by myself. If there had actually been three co-presenters with me they would have offered valuable feedback. So bottom line, while anyone, regardless of technical ability, can use AI to enhance their own abilities, AI cannot replace people. Thanks again for watching, I hope TTS helps you, and if you have any questions please feel free to contact Samir Doshi via GitHub.